Welcome back to this, the show where none of us know why we enjoy it so much, but we keep coming back for more. Hey everybody, I'm Kelsey, I'm single, and today we're playing the 100 Baby Challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims where we get a matriarch and she is supposed to have 100 children, all with different parentage. There's a lot of rules to this challenge, so if you would like to know those rules, the link will be below. Be below. Last time, we finally aged up a lot of our toddlers into kids, which was a much needed thing. We have a new baby on the way, so uh, all we have to do is seduce our next victim and have a baby. It's gonna be an easy day for Chelsea. Words I will probably later come to regret. <laughs> Why wait, let's dive in. Yeah, so I don't really have too many goals for Chelsea. It's just an average day. I think we need to do something fun. Well, the kids are uh, doing all right. The kids are all right, as they say. He looks really proud of himself. Good job, River. Why are you crying? Is it a sad thing you're watching? Is that S Sims Tinder? Why is she crying? What is happening in this TV show? Whoa, she found a man. Really? She was sad and then she found a man and now she's happy? And then he died on the dance floor? Wait, what is this show? And now he's a ghost? Is this the plot of Ghost? <laughs> they got, she married a ghost. Wow! My daughter just watched that? That is not Sunday morning cartoons. Okay, they're all going to school. Bye kids. Make good choices, have fun. Why are you wearing a swimsuit to school? You know what? Whatever. Bye, goodbye, have fun at school. Why are you wearing a swimsuit to school? Eh, yeah, that's fine. All of you study hard and hopefully you can all be teens very soon. Get up, Chelsea, make yourself some breakfast. Make yourself some garden salads. Charlie's calling. Yeah, I wanna talk. Charlie, my sweet babu. Wow, it's just a... Average day. Oh, Chelsea! You've made so many garden salads. Look, you made a mess. And you don't have a bunch of teens to clean up for you this time. We haven't had like no teens for a long time. It was like the OG days when I like struggled all the time. Remember that? That was a lot. <gasps> Charlie has spread some juicy gossip about Brielle. What? What are you trash talking Brielle for, Charlie? What's up, boy? Ready to be trained in the ways? of the potty. Teach him how to potty. Natalie's done with school for the day. A B is not bad grade. Okay, Naya's got a B. Grades are up for Rose and River. What do you mean Natalie and Naya only have Bs? What the flap? You're supposed to age out today. Send a text to Gavin, chat with Gavin. We had a great combo. We bonded. Gavin, why can't you love me? I do think you need fun too though, but why don't you go to bed? Oh, he needs to go to bed. Go to bed. Oh, homework's complete. Oh shoot. He just got angry as soon as I put him to bed. Nailed it. Am I not a, mo a great mom or am I not a great mom? Stop everything, Flynn's really hungry and I might get it to him taken away if he doesn't. Oh shoot, there's no food left and there's no teens to make food. Chelsea, get up, cook. Those garden salads went by really fast. Here we go, now I can eat. I forgot the whole reason we made the salad was for him. Awkward. Oh no, Chelsea is having an accident in the- Ah, uh, this is what happens when you don't have teens to help you around the house. You pee yourself in front of your children. The responsible kid goes and mops up her mom's pee. Good job, Naya. Proud of you, sweetie. Reverse texting on the toilet. Usual, my children have a- uh, It's Harvest Fest! <gasps> Does that mean the gnomes, new gnomes are gonna appear in our home? Oh my God, wait, here's one. He's coming in. Oh my God, there's another one. Is that a death gnome? I think Natalie's kind of the overachiever, so she's gonna appease the gnome and give him a pie. Cause who doesn't love pie? That one, he looks like a death gnome, but he looks so cute. Like he just wants the best for you. That one looks like a business boy. He loved our pie! Angel gnome boys. Here's a pie. I don't think you could go up to a person and give them a lovely baked pie and not have them going, yeah, I love you. Can we give pies to everyone? <gasps> Why is he mad? He didn't like pie? What kind of person are you? Maybe he didn't just didn't like Natalie. Oh shoot, two of them hate us. Oh, flap. I hope they don't kill her. Oh, he liked her. Okay, okay, okay. She's pleading for forgiveness and they and they start liking her again as she eats her garden salad because obviously. Naya's having a quick morning slide. <laughs> 
Sorry, that literally scared the crap out of me. What about you? Why don't you plead for forgiveness from that gnome? I don't want my, these gnomes killing my babies. <gasps> oh, he really doesn't like my children. You know what? Why don't we just ignore this mean gnome man? Hopefully he'll go away because he electrocuted two of my children and I'm not cool with that. Honestly, there's a lot of gnome things happening and I don't know how to deal. <laughs> Give him a pie. He hated it. Amazing. We're gonna ignore that gnome. Oh, he's going potty all on his own. Good job, baby. How do you le reach level two of the potty skill without Chelsea's potty train? I'm shook. No, don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. Don't, 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 don't. If you need something to do, no, stop trying to make a mess. <laughs> if you need something to do, I will find something for you to do. You don't have to worry about it. I got you, friend. Oh, Flynn's done with that, whatever it is. He reached thinking level three. And uh, you need a, uh, there's no salads left. All right, Chelsea, it's salad making time. That time of day again. I'm just really concerned about these gnomes. Whoa, they left a lot of things for us. I'm just gonna sell them. Thank you for all of these. Now we're saving up for our big dream home, for Kelsey's big, Chelsea's big dream home, but also Kelsey's big dream home. TBH, like, I'm living vicariously through Chelsea. I don't know if I'll ever be a homeowner. RIP millennial problem. Why are you like this? Stop ruining my stuff, you weirdos. Oh, but they dropped a some seed packets over there, so that's good. What are you doing in my bed? Get out of my bed, girl. I mean, I guess you can. Remember when uh, when all the kids didn't have enough beds so that one of the kids always slept in Chelsea's bed with her? Aw, memories. Now we're like up in the, moving up in the world. Each kid has their own bed and yet they still try to sleep in her bed. I guess they're trying to bond with her. Weird. Everyone's asleep in bed except for these gnomes that are all congregating in the house. Chelsea and her son, which are staying up late to 10 p.m. to potty train him. Why? I don't know. Cause that's how the Peter Schmay family works sometimes. Flynn, who's burning the midnight oil because he just wants to grow up. He's the opposite of a Peter Pan kid. Good job, my boy River. Now you can do whatever you want. No, I don't care. All of the kids are ready for school and all the gnomes are, are they done? Yeah, they're just, we just got a lot of gnomes now. You know, I feel weird deleting them. We earned some of these gnomes, so they're all just gonna live around the house. He'll move them outside though. I don't want them inside. Is there one more? Death gnome. The death gnome is my new favorite gnome, honestly. Another harvest fest survived by the Impeachishme household. Ooh, school starts very soon for everybody. Here's the moment. Ah, goodbye kids! Oh my gosh, they were so fast. Goodbye. Uh, once again, our little Rosé is wearing a swimsuit to school. Uh, I feel uncomfortable about it, but you know, I like to encourage my children to uh, express themselves. What? Are you freaking kidding me? Tell them absolutely not. I know you are mad because you're hungry, but I am in the middle of making you a salad and you better. Oh, and she's gonna have an accident. She's had an accident while making you a salad because she needed to go to the bathroom, but she prioritized you. She's like really smelly and she finished the salad anyway. He's level three on everything but potty? Since when, boy? Since when? They're almost kids. Chelsea's just like smelling miserable, eating her salad in front of her puddle of pee. Just not a good start to the day here. <laughs> I really want to see a child eat a salad in real life. I don't think I've ever seen that before, ever. Oh, everybody's back. Okay, okay, okay. First, we have Naya, and she is an A student. Then we have Natalie, also an A student. We got Rose, a very good B student, and River, a very good B student, which means that we get to age up Naya and Natalie into teens. I can't wait to have more help around the house. Why don't you make a cake? Cook a cake, cook a chocolate cake for a birthday. Whoa, who is, is this? New, oh no, it's Chris Cortez. It is not new Craig, but it kind of looks like Craig. He's wearing blue. Wait, mom hasn't been introduced? Are you saying that Rose found mom a, a new bae? She's like, you kind of look a lot like the love of my mom's yes. life. Do you like blonde women that are pregnant a lot? Is that like your jam? Yeah, blow out those candles while Chelsea's out here 
introducing yourself to a new man. Say like, hey, what's up? First kiss? How does that work? Cause she can just jump to first kiss. Meanwhile, Naya's aging up in the background. Naya, stop! Pick a number one through 12. That would be 12. 12, so she wants to be popular. Pick a number one through six. The answer is three. So she wants to be a good vampire. Huh? Pick a number one through 42. The answer is 12. 12, so she's gonna be a foodie. So, in sum, Naya desires most in life to be a good vampire, is a vegetarian, and a foodie. That just tells its own story there, doesn't it? Naya's aged up. Woo! Look at her hair. Wow. She's got like half dark, half blonde. She is a character. Let's have our our Natalie blow out the candles and see what's in store for her. She's aged up. Pick a number one through 12. The answer is eight. Eight. She's knowledgeable. Pick a number one through five. It's three. It's three. One, two. Natalie wants to be a master vampire. Pick a number one through 42. It's 42. 42. And she's evil. All right, so uh, she wants to be a master vampire. She wants to become a wise and powerful vampire. She loves music and she's evil. That tells its own story as well. The thing is that we can't, they won't count unless we age out to young adult. But if we befriend a vampire and then have them come over when they turn young adult, we can give them what they want. And I here just want my children to be happy. So maybe my children should be vampires. Uh, Who knows? Oh, I love her skirt! Yeah. Wow, what what gems there. What's Chelsea up to? Still chatting with the boy? Oh, she's still very awkwardly chatting with him. Wow, they're they're feeling it. They're feeling Oh, okay. Okay, he's leaving, but then he's now coming into the house or maybe he's for sure leaving. Uh, that was interesting. So she literally left the house and she's coming back in and her ch daughters are look completely different now. Yeah, Hazel can come over and hang out. She looks a little weird there, but totally invited. What are you doing? You're reading a book? If you're feeling that good, you should do your homework. Ah, it's Hazel! Hazel's here! She's back, she's visiting her sister on her birthday. She's like, wow, you've grown up into such a, a fine young lady. Little does she know about her passion for vampires. Oh, they're gonna do their homework together. That's so cute. All the kids gotta do their homework right now. It's important. No! No, repair that. Oh, she's, yeah! Chelsea's in labor! You know what that means, Chelsea, go to the hospital, wake up! Wake up, Chelsea! She like went into labor while fixing a sink, which honestly, she's just hero. Have a baby at the hospital. Send, you know what? Ask one of your kids to join you. That'd be pretty cute. Let's have Olive join her at the hospital if she stays around. That'd be great. Oh my gosh, become best friends. Wait, ask about his day. It's the hot doctor is here. Oh, fork yeah. Let's get this going. Invite you to feel the baby. Be like, oh yeah. Oh, Olive like saw it and was like, mom, I think you've got this. I don't think you need me to be here and just left. Get to know him. Who cares that you're in labor, Chelsea? Enthused about iambic pentameter. Oh my God, been there, honestly. You think I'm joking, but I'm really not. Why did you turn your back to him to talk about iambic pentameter? Kiss his hands. Oh my gosh. Chelsea, this is your moment. All of this has been leading up to seducing this hot doctor. We finally got him. Like he wouldn't come over. He wouldn't answer our calls that much or texts, but he seems, oh! Do you think that we can invite him back to our place after we have this baby to have a new baby with him? Have him take one out and put one in. Here we go. First kiss in labor. Chelsea's a freaking rock star. Oh, she's following him in though. He's like, enough to this chit chat. I think you're dilating. They're bonding while she's, oh, she go give birth to. Wait, he can't put a new baby in her right after this because she's full up in the house. We gotta get the, the, the vampire twins out. This is a weird sentence that I just spoke. All right, congratulations, it's a girl. It's time again to check the comments to see who's gonna be the next baby name namer. As always, if you wanna help name my children, leave just a comment on the comments below. This one says, can you name a girl Addie? Shamelessly, that's my nickname, so please. I love it, have no shame, the name is Addie. Addie and Peach Ishmay, welcome to the family. Thank you so much for watching these videos. And, uh, oh my gosh, that happened so fast. Oh, they're they're exchanging numbers. This is happening. He exchanged, he got her number. He's super pumped about it. And we're going home.
That was a successful trip. Now all we have to do is age out these vampire twins and uh, bing a bam boom, we got our next dad. We've come back to a very upsetting scene here. The babies are really sad about this new child, Addie, who's, who's entered their lives, but Addie's gonna be a great addition, I feel it. So stop crying, please. Finish, resume your garden salad. Natalie, why don't you, uh, why don't you have some fun? You sit in there, search for some vampire secrets. You need a skill, my girl. There you go, vampire lore, that's a skill. Oh, she's building that skill like mad. This is like gangbusters, look at that go. Dang, she's super evil. How do we get more vampire lore? Researching into vampires on computer or reading unlocked vampire tomes. We need some of this stuff. Wait, this baby's upset. I don't know if the evil kid is supposed to be the one that's taking care of the baby, but honestly, that's what's gonna be right now. She's so close if we could just order that tome. Vampire secrets, yeah! She's so stoked about her vampire tome. Look at her, she was like, ha ha! Empathy, who needs it? Not our Natalie. Look at her, learning her stuff. <laughs> she's like, can't, I can't wait to live forever and, and kill people. She's learning so much faster than all of my other kids about literally anything. This is insane. Maybe you should put that away though. I don't know if you want people finding out that you have that. <laughs> it's Saturday, which means that they can actually go out and do fun things, AKA meet some vampires. You, Flynn has reached level three of potty, which means Flynn is ready to be aged up. I'm thrilled. He's ready to go for his stuff, but his twin brother needs to kind of wait. And yeah, it's just potty. He needs to buckle down. Gavin's calling. <gasps> Gavin's asking Kel. Gavin's asking Chelsea out on a date. If there's an IRL Gavin though, that, that guy's good looking. And he's a doctor. So, all you IRL Gavins that look like this, <laughs> hit me up in my DMs. There we go. What, he showed up shirtless to the date? And he clapped for her. Thanks, Gavin. All right, well, she still, she still has her garden salad with her. What are you doing, Chelsea? There are a couple of weirdos, but I feel like they, they go well together. And she's going with Grayson. She's gonna be like, it's so good to see you. I'm so glad that after you kind of gave me the cold shoulder for a long time, I could really change your mind while I was in labor. And then, you know, now that they've kind of like done, done a couple like introductory things, why don't they go into this club here? Go here together and let's do some dance battling with Gavin, could be fun. Wait, Chris Cortez is here too! Oh no! It's getting harder for Chelsea to kind of like keep her, her romances separate these days. I just hope that it doesn't piss Chris off too much that he won't like be interested in her later because she I don't think she's had a baby with Chris yet. Okay, here we go. She's gonna have a dance competition with him. Ooh, they're dancing up really close together and she looks like she's smelling something. Wait, is this her ex? This is Dominic. Dominic is a ghost on the dance floor. Why are you, please don't be talking to me on my date. Please not. Oh my gosh, why is he dancing up on her right now? Please desist. What? Who is this? Wait, who just walked in? Craig? Craig is here too? Oh my gosh, this is a mess. This is a total mess. Craig is here, love of Chelsea's life. Oh my gosh. Oh no! There's Craig and then a kind of guy that kind of looks like Craig. Chris Cortez, kind of the off-brand Craig. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. And she's flirting with him right in front of Dominic. He's like, let's get away from here because honestly, there's a lot going on. Offer a massage? I don't know. As long as she stays away from, oh no! Craig's heart went down! Oh no, he's hearing her! Oh no, no! Oh no, 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 Craig! No, Craig, we love you most. <gasps> Look how lo low their everything is. Craig, no. Craig, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Shoot, what do we do? What do we do? Is she going to, oh no, they're going to have, they're gonna go have woo-hoo in a closet. But Craig was endgame. I mean, it was always gonna, like it was always bound to kind of happen maybe, but I didn't want Craig to get hurt this way. <laughs> Woo! I'm just sitting here with my decisions. Honestly, yeah, after this, this is the date's over. Chelsea, you can go home. I think we did what we needed to do. Oh no! Chris Cortez came downstairs. To, I thought it was Craig, but Chris Cortez came downstairs to cry in the adjacent. All right, Chelsea, just go home. You've made a mess of this with the doctor. 
but he seems really into us. You know what? It's nothing our charming Chelsea can't fix, right? No, Craig's coming! <gasps> Craig, oh my gosh. Okay, wait, I think she needs a moment. He's run he's kind of coming after her. Take a picture with him. Be like, Craig, no, you're the only one for me. Chelsea, go! Go, run after him! Share photos of his kid. Be like, Charlie is still great. Oh my gosh, she's running after him. Her date has left and she's just like, listen, he's very sad. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't leave this here. <gasps> Look how beautiful it is. It's like the sun's shedding and it's over the water and he's gonna flatter him. Oh my goodness. Can we have a deep conversation with him and make him feel better? They're taking a photo together. Oh my gosh, the sun's straight up setting. Give some relationship advice. Be like, listen, Craig, like, you know, I know that at the beginning it felt like it was just part of a challenge, but I really fell for you. And if you're willing to wait, then, uh, oh my gosh, they're going to a bench. No, don't go to a bench. Tell Greg you love him. You just bonded as friends. You didn't bond as lovers. Go back. Be like, I'll still wait for you if you're still down. Give him a little flirt. This is totally like not necessary for this challenge and totally just necessary for me as a human that cares about Chelsea and her love. She's gonna offer him a rose and be like, this is gonna be our rose. Oh God, Jonah Pierce is right there. Oh shoot, okay, she's gotta get out of here. Get out of here, Chelsea. She's, I'm like having her run away, but she looks really happy. You know, she looks like she had a really great day. She had a woohoo with, a, with, a, with her doctor and also patched up things with Craig. You know, was really honest with him and how she was feeling. And I think that was what was really important. I think we're gonna go out with our girls. I think they're gonna go out on the town to do some vampire-y things. So let's, why don't you have a change your outfit? Let's pick an outfit that's fun. That one's pretty cute. Yeah, that one's good. And then Natalie, you need to change your outfit too. Okay, Naya's gonna travel with Natalie and they're gonna go to the vampire neighborhood. And there is not a park. I feel like Natalie would wanna meet Count Vlad, but I think Naya would prefer meeting these folk. But So hopefully they're kind of all in the same area and they can kind of all meet each other. Okay, here's our moment. All right, so our good vampire girl can do a little friendly interaction and then she can look over here and see if Vlad's out. They're two teen girls out. They're, they're, they're out on, on the town by themselves. What a weird turn we've taken here on the 100 Baby Challenge into the supernatural. Get to know him. I think she'd be the pushier of the sibling. Obsessed about favorite band. Whine about her unfair life. She's just like, ugh, it's so unfair that like I wasn't born into a vampire family because it's all I really want in life. She's gonna praise his vampire lifestyle. He keeps saying like, oh, I don't know anything about vampires. We're like, uh, I don't believe you. Complain about her parents. She's like, ugh, our mom is so weird. I feel like she's kind of quite a brat. I also think she's a little bit more manipulative than her sister is. I bet she's, honestly, I think Natalie is like a vampire, is like a, <gasps> there he is! Oh my gosh, it's Vlad. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She's gotta go, she's gotta go. I don't know if he likes her. They don't seem like very, like he seems kind of annoyed with her right now. <laughs> Cause she's just like, I just want to get to know you and be your new best friend. And he's like, you're a, a, you're a stupid teenager that's over here. Aw, they're kind of be bonding a little bit. It's a little low. They keep b bumping up and down from like a pleasant conversation to an unpleasant conversation, which is quite funny. I think he's kind of over hit her like teenage antics. Vlad was just like, I am out. I don't care about this stupid girl. I don't want her to be part of my coven. Natalie's like, ah, this is all I want her to. I think he knows that she's trying to come for his job. If given the chance, Natalie would try to take over the coven from him and would probably do just about anything to make that happen. Whereas like Naya is just like here with her cool hair and being like, I just really like, I want to be a vampire. I think living forever sounds great. I don't want to hurt anyone. <laughs> She's just so friendly. It's a little odd that she's obsessed with vampires, but like, you know, you like what you like. And, but she just wants to be a good person at the end of the day. And she loves food and being a vegetarian. I think they both just want to be part of this community in a very weird way. Oh, whoa, he hates her. Why do you hate me so much? She's gonna try to like fix the bad relationship between him and Naya. Naya's just ignoring him. She's like, I don't care. All I care about is Caleb. Caleb is, seems like a cool guy. <gasps> Caleb also likes vegetarianism. Oh, he's saying he's sorry to Naya, even though they're like really pissed at each other. 
It seems like the vampires have kind of had enough of the two girls, so I think they're gonna not try to overstay their welcome too much and they're gonna just head home. They're heading home in two different directions though, which is kind of interesting. So the girls are back. They kind of had a pretty successful, I think, trip. Whoop, she's just running in circles. They're feeling pretty confident. I think that they're ready to kind of, you know, try out their this new lifestyle. I think they're really excited. Whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, what are you doing, Missy? Throw that away. Oh my gosh, one of my children was just playing in some stuff. No, 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 don't hire a nanny service. That's not allowed in this challenge. I did not mean it. Huh. Superficial baby care. Go in there, Chelsea. Fix your child's needs. So Flynn is ready to go. Flynn's got threes on everything. And so it's just Cooper that really needs his potty up. Mom, go give your child attention. He's feeling sad, like a lot. Oh wow, there's a lot going on in this bathroom. She's like, please get out, I need to use it. Okay, he's in bed. Ugh, he's so close to age up though. Okay, so she's gonna write a biography and I think she's gonna write her autobiography. So, um, baby, it's gonna be named Baby, Baby Love. A story of, oh, the true story. A true story of romance and rugrats and romance and reproductions. <laughs> this is a biography. Perfect. Her life's work. Oh no, he's upset. Why are you so sad? Why, you know, what fixes, what cures sadness? Going potty. I hear. Actually, you don't need to do that. You can do whatever you want. Come on, man. You only got potty left. Come on, Coop. Let's go. Come on, oh no! Come on, it's your final potty. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Come on. I know you need some more fun and you energy and everything, but you know what's fun? Aging up. And you know when you can do that? After you finish this potty. <gasps> he did it! Wow, potty level three! Okay, now you can do whatever you want. You can sleep, you can sleep. Everybody can be fine. Oh, Chelsea finished her autobiography. It's spectacular. She's chatting with Alexis. Alexis is here being like, Mom, I'm so proud of you for finally like putting to paper all of your life's accomplishments, AKA 15 children. It's a big deal. And she's like, thank you, I know. I'm kind of like a celebrity. Our cake is done, which means we can add some birthday candles and we can age up our two twin boys, our, our Zach and Cody of sorts. Okay, blow out the candles, buddy. Happy birthday. Now we have no toddlers which has been, what a Cinderella story. You know, we started at the bottom, now we're here. Woohoo! Flynn aged up. Pick a number one through four. It's two. Two, so he's gonna be a mental boy. Pick a number between one and 30. It's seven. It's seven, so six, seven. He's a gloomy child. Oh, wow, look at Flynn, he's a gloomy boy. No one touched this cake. I've been burned before. Cooper, are you ready to age up? He's chatting with his baby sister, Abby, Addie very good at names. To be fair, she's new, so, you know. Okay, Cooper. Oh, putting him down through the table as usual. Popping up, Cooper aged up. Pick a number one through four. The answer is two. two. So he's also a mental kid. Pick a number between one and 30. The answer is one. He's an active boy. So he's kind of like the opposite twin. Oh my gosh, Cooper's so mad. I'm sorry, Coop. He went to raid to bed. He's like, I am tired and angry. Oh my goodness. Well, we had a birthday party. We seduced a man. We've done a lot. I think this is a good place to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, we are now at 16 children and our two eldest wannabe vampire girls are right on the cusp of aging out so we might have two new children so let's all hope for 18 next episode but thank you guys for watching this one i hope you enjoyed it and it took a turn it's getting weird this show is getting weird bye